this shirt is way too big. I don't know why I got it so big, but there you have it. Hey book lovers, Kaylee here, and welcome back to the Enchanted Library. So I thought that I would change up my uh, setup a little bit here so that way you can see more of my shelves, but let me know if you like this way or the old way better because I'm still playing around with things. I'm also playing around with some lights, which I have not figured out quite how to work yet, so um, I might be way too blown out for this video, but I'm working on it, so bear with me. So today's video is actually one that I wasn't necessarily planning on making because I didn't know if I was going to be participating this year, but I got struck with an idea and I need to do it, so I thought that I would chat with you guys about Camp NaNoWriMo. So I'm sure a lot of you have heard about NaNoWriMo, which is short for National Novel Writing Month, and that takes place every year in November, but Camp NaNoWriMo, if you don't know, is actually a lot more of a laid back version, which takes place every April and July. So because April is a few short weeks away, I kind of got struck with this idea that I wanted to participate this year. Now I have done NaNoWriMo on and off since about 2009, I believe, and I've only won a couple of times, and to win NaNoWriMo you have to write 50,000 words of a novel. And with Camp NaNoWriMo, when I say it's a little bit more laid back, it really is. You get to pick how many words you want to get up to, or hours, or pages. You get to pick if you want to do a novel, a screenplay, poetry, the sky's the limit. So I'm very excited to dive into this new project. Now a lot of my friends know very, very well that I have been writing since for as long as I can remember. I have always written things, I've written stories. Some of them I think are cool enough to be published, others are really just my own enjoyment to write them, and that's sort of going to be the case with this story. It is an idea that I had come up with several years ago, but I just hadn't fully flushed it out, but then I decided this year I was going to try it. I'm not going to get really into the plot or anything, but essentially it's a historical fiction with a little bit of mystical elements. I am normally one to write fantasy because I really love world building and I don't always trust myself to get certain aspects of the world right if I'm writing something that's contemporary or realistic, but this idea I just, I've had to run with it. I had two options for a story to choose from and my friend actually helped me decide which option I wanted to go with. One was more of a steampunk and the other is my historical fiction with a bit of mysticism and I'm glad that she had me pick that one because it is way more out of my comfort zone but I'm still really excited to do it and because Nick Camp NaNoWriMo is only a few short weeks away I've had to do a lot of prep so I thought that I would go over with you guys what I do to prepare myself for NaNoWriMo essentially. One of the great things about Camp NaNoWriMo is that they work just like NaNoWriMo where they have forums and discussions and so many pep talks to get you ready and when I went through the forums the other day one of the topics was campfire talk and what campfire talk is is where you just sort of go and you chat about random different aspects of your novel and about your life and one of the fun things that I did was camp needs and camp would like to have. My camp needs are one, my laptop loaded up with Scrivener software which is an amazing writing program that has so, so many different options and ways to make it work. I highly recommend doing some research on it. Number two is a massive cup of tea, like never ending tea because I just keep drinking it constantly and I always need to have it on hand in order to write or read or anything like that. And number three is time. Obviously you need some time just to sit down with your thoughts and focus. On the other hand, the other aspect that they had is actually camp nice to haves. So these are things that you don't necessarily need, but are very helpful when writing. So something for me that is nice to have is my notebook. This notebook in particular, I have had it for a little while and I just have not found the right thing to put in it. And that's my issue with notebooks generally, is that I love them so much and I think that they're beautiful, but I don't always have something to write in them, or else I just save them for a rainy day. And I felt like this was the perfect time to use this notebook in particular. It has a beautiful gold foil quote on it from Jane Austen, who I love, and it is, let other pens dwell on guilt and misery. 
So this pen is going to be writing in this book, actually it has been already, um, different outlines and things that I need for my story. So far in here I have the basic synopsis which you can also find on my camp profile on Camp NaNoWriMo. It has the basic main plot points that I want to get to in my story, it has my characters, and it has different groups that are going to be playing a part in my story as well. I'll be adding more to that notebook consistently throughout the coming month and into April, and it's very handy to have. Even though I am going to transcribe a lot of what's in there into my Scrivener file on my laptop, I mean, I still really like pen to paper and being able to flip through pages and make notes. Another thing that I said was a nice to have is my Pinterest boards. And I am a Pinterest fiend. I tend to, <laughs> I'll go through periods of time where I won't use it at all and then there'll just be times that I constantly use it. I think right now I have upwards of 30 Pinterest boards and a lot of them are secret because I don't want to inundate my followers with too much of it. But I did make a secret Pinterest board for my Camp Nano novel and it has things like period piece clothing, different um, images of things back in the time that I'm focusing on, so then that way I have more of a visual. Uh, it also has fan casting, which my friend Tara over at The Three Bookshelves loves to do, and it helps her a lot, and I found that it sort of started to help me as well, where I'm trying to focus on what a character looks like, what their personality is, and that sort of thing, and it really does help to fan cast. So I have a list of the actors and actresses that I would kind of dream cast for my story, and I have those on there as well. And then obviously I also put things like time where you just have several weeks off of not having to do anything, and then you can just focus on writing, but that's not necessarily realistic, so we're just gonna forget about that. Another cool aspect of Camp NaNoWriMo is that they have cabins. Now what these cabins are, are a focused group of individuals who are coming together and sort of amp each other up with regards to their stories. So the group that I have been invited to includes my friend and actually several people that she has done Camp NaNoWriMo in the past with, so they have a very good rapport already, and I'm very excited to see their takes on their stories. I thought I heard someone at the door. As I was writing the outline for this novel, I had a very good sense of what I wanted. I had a plan, I knew the idea that I wanted to go with, but from there, there was actually a lot more that I had to flush out. So as I was writing my outline and the major plot points that I wanted to hit on, the story ended up taking on a life of its own. So I'm very excited to see how the rest of it plays out, since there are now aspects in this story that are major, major plot points that I couldn't not include, which I originally wasn't expecting to have. So it really has taken on a life of its own, and that's one of the things that I love about writing. Normally, the last two books that I've focused on, I have done a lot of outlining and a lot of planning. Before that, I was a pantser, <laughs> and what a pantser is, is you basically fly by the seat of your pants and you write as you think. So I always write in chronological order, and I always take things as it comes and as they hit me. And I didn't think that that would happen as much with outlining, but it actually has. So I'm very excited that there are still elements that I don't necessarily think are going to happen that are. And now this story, the ending that I gave to it and that I know I want to build up to is actually going to be a jump off for at least one other book, possibly making it into a trilogy. So I'm just, I'm very excited to see how things come of it. So that's really how I've been prepping for NaNoWriMo. I have been working on my Pinterest boards, I have been doing research into the historical period that I'm working on, and the groups and individuals that are going to be coming in from history and adding in my own little twist to that. I have been outlining like crazy, developing my characters, and really just getting everything in line so then that way when April the 1st hits, all I have to do is write and not really focus on all of the bigger picture things because I can just sit down and let my thoughts fill the screen and, and just write, which is what I'm so excited about. And that being said, I guess I'll leave it there. Be sure to leave a comment down below if you are participating in Camp NaNoWriMo in April, or if you've participated in NaNoWriMo in the past and what your thoughts are. I was thinking that maybe throughout April I might do one or two other videos that focus strictly on Camp NaNoWriMo, but let me know if that's something that you'll be interested in. 
And before I let you go, I did want to let you know that my friend Tara and I over at the Three Bookshelves actually did the first sentence challenge. So it was my first collab video and I had so much fun. I love Tara, she's great. So I want you to head on over to her channel, give her some love, and check it out because I had a riot doing that video and I gotta say, her editing, I absolutely love. But be sure to share this video with your friends, like, and subscribe to the channel for more videos. I do put them out every weekend. And until next time, keep reading. And writing. Keep reading and writing. Ugh, oh, it's such a good life.